Three Cincinnati City Council members all accused or convicted of bribery. Now the plan to address corruption in the Queen City is in the hands of nine people. They're looking into how development deals in our city get done. Mariel Carbone explains what's at stake and what to expect. Well, the indictments of all of those council members also surrounded their involvement with different development deals. So this panel will really look at when and how council members are or should be involved in the development process and make recommendations so that this never happens again. Corruption on city council has left public trust broken. We do regard it as a very important task. So a nine member panel is looking to make repairs. So we plan to do a 360 degree review of the development process in the city of Cincinnati. Anne Marie Tracy, a retired judge and former assistant U.S. attorney, will chair the economic development reform panel. The panel was proposed by council member and mayoral candidate David Mann, uh, and the mayor appointed the members, which include attorneys, former judges, a former city leader, and even a developer, one who has donated to the mayor, mayor raising a question that, of ethics. Uh, the alleged corruption came out of city council, not out of the mayor's office. Cranley says the voice of a developer is necessary. No way that this committee can uh, comprehensively understand all the issues that are involved if they don't hear directly from a committee that has all elements, all sides. As it stands, the city charter does lay out how each branch of government should be involved in development deals. Council is strictly legislative. The administration negotiates. Meanwhile, the mayor is allowed to discuss deals directly with developers. All of this will be studied. We're looking at the processes is not a partisan issue. The panel will present its findings in August. So we plan to take um, all the steps that we feel are necessary to help support the integrity of the process. And this is just one way City Hall is dealing with the corruption that happened here. Vice Mayor Christopher Smitherman is also asking for a forensic audit of all development deals. Reporting from City Hall, I'm Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.